at the end of last summer, actually doing just about my last mow on the property, I hit the granddaddy of all rocks with my Husqvarna riding mower and just completely shattered one of the mower housing assemblies. So you've got your blade underneath the mower and then it's got this kind of uh, cast iron almost like steel housing and that housing just busted. So uh, to fix it what I'm going to do is uh, pull off the mowing deck, this guy, and uh, remove the housing and try to replace it. I'll show you how it's connected. Uh, it's really just a sequence of these uh, pull pins. So there's these uh, pin connectors. Uh, this is on the back right here and I'll pull off uh, those pins right there and then around front I can show you right here there's another just straight up pin connector and I'll pop that guy off. A note I've also got my belts on here. I think I'll probably pop the belts off first. And this belt is all loosened already just because uh, that mower housing already broke. And then check out this pin. It is a funky kind of bow tie situation. All right, there we go. This is this funky kind of bow tie style pin and I just bent it a little bit to pull it out. And uh, on the rear, it's attached on two sides and it's got the same kind of funky bow tie pin. All right, here's the last connection. There's this bar right here. And uh, this bar, this bar connects in the back with a bolt and on the front with another one of these uh, little curly Q pins. And I'll pull this off on this side and the other side and then the motor deck should be free to move. All right, now I've got the belt removed from this guy. I've got the front attachment removed, the two rear attachments and then two metal sway bars, it's all detached. And I think I should be able to pull this mower deck out from underneath uh, the machine. And this black cover here uh, comes off with just a few dry, uh, bolts that are star drive, or you can just use a uh, plain old socket head. And I gotta say, this is one of the things I really hate about these mowers, is that there's just almost no way to clean out all this grass. Oh man, here you can really see the busted assembly housing. This one is just totally blown out, like busted out. So I'll have to I remove all these pieces here, uh, take the blade off, and then I replace this. Right here, this is my bolt to actually remove the housing down below. I'm just attaching a vice grip here on the back side and locking that vice grip down and then hitting it around the other side with my wrench and with that vice grip on there I'm able to just loosen it up on the other side. I've got all four bolts out and one of these guys actually just sheared right off so I'm gonna have to get a new bolt. I'm just gonna take this flywheel off. And really the only way to loosen this guy up is to hold the blade on the other side to get you the leverage. All right, we're getting down there. Uh, I've also got my blade to pull off here. I just loosened this nut. And there is my busted old housing that I'm gonna get uh, replaced. So this is pretty cool. I went to my local Husqvarna dealer and repair dude, and he actually had one of these in stock. So I've got the new uh, spindle assembly, he called it. So this is the new guy, it's good to go. I also got four new bolts just because some of those other ones were corroded. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I have the spindle assembly, firmly bolted back on to the deck and I'm just going to put the blade back on. And this is what this nice new spindle assembly looks like uh, from the top. And it looks like one more problem I've got is that uh, when this thing all went south, this belt got way jammed in here. So I'm going to loosen up this wheel here. 
you can see this belt just got super wedged in there. And I'll see if I can get it out. Now in terms of how to put this serpentine belt back together, there's actually a little crib sheet here on the mower deck. So when you pull your deck off, you've got this little document here and this actually tells you which way your belts go. This is obviously spinning this uh, blade out here and this is just a tightening cog. This spins this blade here and then both belts come up front and grab onto your motor. And the sequence I'm following here is that first thing I did is hook up the belt and then I tensioned it by sliding the deck back and then I'm attaching the various link arms. So that wraps up this fix of this nasty, busted old spindle assembly. I'm glad to have the riding mower back in action, though uh, I've got snow on the ground right now, so I won't be mowing anytime soon. Uh, do hit me with a thumbs up if you liked the video or found it useful. I'm always happy to respond to comments and often learn from them. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more mowing or maintenance related videos of this kind. I do have a full review of this Husqvarna mower uh, in video form on my channel.